Hey everyone, and welcome to 7th grade math at Easy Math with Miss Easley. I'm really excited to get started with 7th grade. And if you've seen my videos before, then you know that I've done 3rd through 6th grade. I've enjoyed teaching or tutoring all of those grade levels, as well as 7th. My first lesson is about rational numbers, and this graphic is going to help us learn about rational numbers. So the first thing we need to know is that a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction or in fraction form. So here's some examples that can go inside this circle. And you're going to notice some positives, some negatives in there. Some of these numbers are just a whole number, but they can be written as a fraction over one. And as we keep learning about different types of numbers, you're going to notice that rational numbers are the broadest category that we're going to talk about. It's the biggest circle. As we get inside the circle with some different types of numbers, you're going to notice it's getting a little bit more specific as we go. But they all can be called rational numbers. So let me give you an example. The next category we're going to talk about is integers. So I'm going to put that inside of our rational numbers circle. An integer is just a whole number and its opposite. So it can include a number like 2 and negative 2. Let's stop and think a little bit. Why is it that I can put integers inside of the rational numbers circle? Okay, I think you're getting it. So all of these integers can be written as a fraction because we can just put them over 1 since they're whole numbers. All right, the next category, we're going to keep going inside the circles, and the next one is whole, just whole numbers. So the definition of whole numbers is just a number that is greater than or equal to zero and no fractional or decimal parts. So it's more specific than integers because integers included those positive and negative so this is just greater than or equal to zero. So zero and up. And so why do you think, let's stop and think again, why do you think I can put whole numbers inside of that rational numbers larger circle? Okay, you got it. Once again, all of those whole numbers, we can write them as a fraction over one. All right, in our last circle, the smallest one inside of the big rational numbers circle is natural numbers. And a natural number is a whole number that is greater than or equal to one. So this one just doesn't include the zero or negative numbers. So once again, why do we think that natural numbers can be put inside of the rational numbers circle. Okay, this is getting easy for you because these can all be written as a fraction. So one word that you're familiar with from the past uh, in fifth and sixth grade is the word hierarchy that can help us think about rational numbers. So I'm going to go back to thinking about, let's just use an example of triangles. So when you were learning about triangles, triangle is the most broad term for that shape, right? Um, then you can get more specific. Maybe you have a right triangle. Maybe you have an isosceles triangle. You can get more and more specific about what type of triangle you have. Same goes for rational numbers. Rational number is the most broad term, but then we can get more specific and say, oh, this is a whole number or a natural number or an integer, as well as a rational number. All right, so I'm going to give you some examples that I want you to try to figure out which circle we could put them in. Now, of course, all of these examples are going to be rational numbers, so I want you to think of the most specific name for each of these. Okay, so let's start. What about negative two-thirds? Okay, you got it. Rational number is the most specific we can get with that. It's written in fraction form, 
It's also negative. And we can't call it an integer because that would be whole numbers and their opposites, so we can't call it that. All right, what about the number four? Okay, you got it. It's a natural number. It is a whole number that's one or greater. Okay, what about the number one? Okay, you got it. Also a natural number. How about point three repeating? Okay, that can be written in a fraction form also as one third. So we're gonna put that in rational numbers. Okay, how about zero? All right, you got it. That can go in whole numbers since it's uh, greater than or equal to zero. How about the fraction one half? Okay, you got it, rational numbers. And last, negative four. Okay, you got it. We're gonna put that in integers because they are whole numbers and they're opposites. Okay, great job learning about rational numbers in all these different categories. I think this is really gonna set you up for success in seventh grade. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.